you guess where I am. That's right, I'm in the workshop. We've now got a wooden rack up here. <coughs> More like a workshop now, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I've had to shuffle electrics around. He's got all oh, these power strips up there. Comes into that outlet. If that outlet was on that wall where the bench was. Uh, got a rack up there full of spanners and sockets, metric sockets, I believe. And we've got shed loads of extras over here. Certainly not short of a spanner or two now. Uh, enough, there's, there's a few bike spanners and bits in there. Metric sockets, imperial sockets. Tool rack. With screwdrivers, wire cutters. Pliers. Oh, didn't notice we've got some files hanging under there. Saw, so, I've forgotten the name of. Some good like that. Another saw. Saw with a blunt blade. How can you tell it's blunt? It's burning the wood. <laughs> Grill press. Sander. Thinking of changing the switch. <coughs> and a big bench. Don't ask, I don't know. Lathe. Rotor bench, rotor table. <coughs> Fit this today. I didn't down there. I've got to clip this cable and I fitted this today as well. Did that one the other day. This is now our meter cupboard built today. I've had an electric shock off of that socket today because uh, it was just a single outlet up there and I decided a double might be better up there. Uh, I've got to do something with that up there. It won't go in the ceiling void. This is the cable that run the lights out there. It was connected up there. But what I'm going to do, this cable for the outlet that we took out, which actually ran all the way over there, I'm going to um, feed through that hole and use it to run the electrics in here. I'll put a junction box probably up there so I can come off it and run an outlet or a couple of outlets in here and when I like to put a new tube up there. Once we uh, can get in here and get this shit cleared up, that is. Right. So there's the tour. Got some rubbish down here. I've got a gadget to take home, which I'll show you when I get home. My stepdad's been practicing the dovetail joints. Put the screwdriver back so we know where they are. Yep, the screwdriver rack up there. Bench grinder, I forgot to show that. Yeah, various tubs of crap, a box of electrical bits. I think what I'm going to have to do for that old light, that's the old kitchen lighting point, that one. So I was going to get something like this proper ceiling rose and just put that over it to cover it and that'll look somewhat tidy as well I don't think I've actually got one here I've got this one but it's got a big hole in the top and I don't really want to use that one yeah make sure everything is actually off the other thing that dog wants me to do is add a spotlight somewhere up here. 
Probably so he's got a better workflow. I could actually put it up on that wall, to be honest. That's a possibility. One up there he wants, one up here. Again, I can just pretty much see where there's a... I think that's where there's a joist. Screw it up there and put a switch beside it. Put that down there. We've got plenty of light switches in here. Which actually reminds me, I do need one. There's already one way. Yeah, I got a shock off that one earlier. I thought... This white cable was the only one connected to this fuse. So I left that one in and pulled that one out, thinking that one um, ran all the sockets in here, but it doesn't. It's literally one fuse for this side and one fuse for that side. Now I also thought that was dead because I grabbed hold of the live wire didn't get a shock. It wasn't until I grabbed hold of both live and neutral together, one in each hand, that I <laughs> complete the connection. I had a, it only got a tingle in each hand. That was a nice tingle though. I'm just glad I wasn't earthed, you know, I'm on an insulated floor. <laughs> I was on the ground outside, that would have hurt. And that would have hurt a lot. So, yeah. You've really got to make sure power is off. That one I think we've got to move. The stepdad was going to box this end in. I don't know if he's still going to, but that was the idea. Uh, I don't actually know. I don't think we're going to need any outlets at this end. I might stick one on the end there. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> Just because I can, so there is something up this end. But I can't see it. Needing it. I mean, we've got the big power strip up there. If we need an extra socket, and we've got extension leads and whatnot. I might actually bring one or two of mine out, because I've made several at home that I don't need. It was actually lanes. Oh, we put it in here. We've got this. We've got this strip as well. Surge protected too. So we could easily just plug that up in up there. And then got something if we need to use a power tool on the floor or something. It's not actually that many to use. There's only that. The mains operate and drill the other little angle grinder, which is that one there, we've got the big, one big one over there, which is mine, and we've got another one at home. <laughs> yeah. This is actually made from an old motor, from, I think it's an old washing machine motor, a very old one. A very, very old one. Alright, um, is that band saw under there? I can't remember the names for all these saws. Staple guns and mouth guns and soldering iron. Cable to be sorted. Oh shit, yeah, that was my job, wasn't it? Oops. I'll have to do that next time I'm over, which might be Tuesday. And right here. Just had a nice roast dinner. I had to bring some bits of wood over here, so I thought I might as well do this while I'm over here. Back up because uh, 
Works won't work because it's not connected. I didn't quite get that far today. What's the other thing I did? Oh yeah. Over here. Change that for a ceiling rose as well. I sort of did that first before I realised I needed one over there. I could use that other one. Like I said, I just didn't get round to it today. So we got these shelf brackets, wire brushes. Do with those actually uh somewhere else. Here we go. Put them in with the rest of the brushes. Not quite sure what's in this one. I haven't had a proper look. But, uh, yeah, it's come along quite nicely, isn't it? Right, I'm going to shut the camera off. And I'll talk to you when I get home. And we are home. I've literally just got in the door and it's 9.30. Right, <clears throat> I poured myself a nice cold drink, and I've got a couple of bits here that stepdad gave me. There was nothing down the recycle centre. Well, nothing that interested me anyway. Someone arrived in a big van that does uh, car boot sales and whatnot. They're not actually supposed to sell to people like that, but yeah. He didn't take anything I wanted anyway. <laughs> right. The only thing I don't find fair about selling to the car booters, even though the staff are not meant to, is that it's unfair to others. Because these car booters, especially this guy in a big van, just go in there and pretty much gobble up anything that's there. Anyway, when uh, stepdad went to that, went to, um, I'll start again. When stepdad emptied that garage with Biggles, this was in all the stuff. It's just a random battery and charger. It's got Draper written on it, 15.6 volt battery charger and a 15.6 volt battery. I don't believe I've got any tool that this battery will fit. I will double check that actually. But uh stepdad threw it in a box of rubbish but I thought, yeah, may find a battery that'll fit the base or something or the power adapter might come in useful so I figured I'd keep both and see if the battery charges because that might and it's a very big might it's one of my um, drills. Let me give me this. It's a continuity tester. It doesn't look anything ultra modern. But, um, <laughs> it's got two of these long old probes on. And uh, you know, it just tells you if there's continuity between two points on a circuit. Don't really need it because my uh, multimeters tell me that. But, you know. Oh, I can take the probes off. I didn't realise that. Just banana plugs. So I could actually put... could actually use these on my, um... multimeters, I think, because I think they would fit. Just... I push. I don't you know how you work it. There's a button or something at the top here. I can't make it click or anything, so I don't know if this actually... works. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, so I suppose it just stays on like that and only uses power when you do this. Complete the circuit. That would make sense. <laughs> just a little toy. Little gadget. I actually, when I saw this in the box, I saw that and I actually thought that was a, um, like a CB radio mic or something. I want to go break a break of one nine into it, but uh, then I realised that I had these probes on it, and I was like, nope, that's not a microphone. And it says uh, it's an RS continuity checker. 
424-002, and that is the only information this has got on it. It's even got a uh, belt clip and um, fairly long probe leads on this. Uh, I'll, uh, up there. See, it's got fairly long probe leads on it. That'll be another device I'll put up in my drawers above my head. Right, let's see who I've pissed off on Facebook. Now, I actually removed a second person from my Facebook today. That's two in as many days. Uh, but this guy, I'd shared a thing, right, where some people in Norwich had shown support for the Romanian shop that um, was set far to. And uh, I can't remember exactly what he said, but I will try and dig up my post and read it to you. I'm not going to delete that one because I use he pissed me off that much I'd actually use the C word and I don't like using the C word. You know someone's pissed me off if I actually do use the C word. Is that jalopy bike I got yesterday? It's the same guy that said I was um, posting too much negative stuff. Well, actually, in his words, I'm always only ever posting negative stuff. Um, 18 replies. Um, that's it. Funny thing is, you wouldn't post up shit like this if they weren't foreign. Actually, yes, I would. Because if this stupid little chavvy prick bothered to actually follow anything that I do on Facebook and not what he wants to see, I post a lot of activity from the fire service. So that's bullshit for starters. Um, you like other races more than your own. Really? Just because I'm showing support for another race means I like other races more than my own? If you fucking say so. You're fucking sick. Go fuck off to Eastern Europe if you like them so fucking much. Why I actually still reply to it, but yeah, that just resulted in an instant ban. Well, not ban, block, remove and block. But the stupid thing is, you don't like what I post, but he added me to Facebook. I didn't add him. He chose to add me after I'd, uh, well, as I said in the other video, I'd already removed him because you know we weren't really buddies or anything, just acquaintances. And then he added me back, so. <laughs> right. I'm going to reply to this one. mentality of some people and the way he just flew at me for that post just because I shared something showing support. I've done it many times for people who are British showing support for them local businesses 
I'm always in the fucking charity shops. I'm always doing my best to buy from my two favourite local businesses. You know? There was that fire at Sainsbury's. I posted fucking photos and news reports of that. So, <laughs> saying that I never post anything unless it's supporting foreigners is utter bullshit. So, yeah. <laughs> People just amaze me. You know, what have they got to do? Beyond me, then again, why have people got to troll on YouTube and whatnot anyway, so perhaps their lives are just so shitty that they've got nothing better to do. But yeah, that sort of behaviour will just make me tick someone straight off my Facebook and blog because I haven't got time for assholes like that. And he doesn't want to try anything in person, because I know he lives in town. I know people who would kick his ass, so... Because I know lots of people that don't actually like him, so... <laughs> They'd be more than happy to, more than likely. Anyway, um, I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit, because I just want to write a few replies. And whatnot. Reply to a few people. Reply to my dad. And whatnot. Um yeah, so Right. I had a snack. Used up the last of me eggs and bread. Um I don't you know what Nemo want. Put food in his dish when I got in. So uh does he want me to go to bed? Possibly. Um I was just thinking about this battery. I'm going to see if it charges. It might even have some charge in it, to be honest. I haven't actually checked it. So, let's find out. We will find it. Although this kept coming up overloaded earlier. Stupid bloody leads. You stick one on this side. You stick one on this side. Well, it's not actually that low. 15.6 volt battery and it's reading 14.83 volts. Just to prove it. I'm not telling fibs. It's not reading anything because I've got it on the plastic. There we go. Oh. Oh. Why is that overloading? I was doing that on a 1.3 volt battery earlier. It seems like the harder I press, the more juice I get out of it. If I really press down on the contacts... I don't know why... It, well, I didn't actually do it at that time, but... When I got that to reach, um, read overload... Um... I was pressing really hard. Hmm, that's a good battery, but uh, I've got nothing to use it on. What can I use that on? Got no drill or power tool, tool for it, rather. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's charged. Oh well. To spare for something. Look <laughs> You've got your Bosch out up there and put that on charge. Or one of the batteries on charge.
Or else I was just watching some crap on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to look up um, batteries for this. Mm. <laughs> it's a Bosch. Looking for a bloody model. if we're going to get precise. 1890, 1899. I can get two for £35 there. Ooh, I found one for 1799. as I thought it was, to be honest. Not even for a pair. Thirty-five ninety-nine. I think that's probably the most I'd have to pay. Well, I could get four. I think that's overkill, though. I don't want four. A single battery there, thirty-two ninety-nine. You don't need to sit on that one. <laughs> Nineteen ninety-nine. 3,000 milliamp hour. don't actually know what this one is, to be honest. Hang on. doesn't say. Oh, that's typical. Does it say anywhere? No. Nope. Does it say on the sticker here? It looks like it might be a 3,000 milliamp hour. Uh, Surprised it doesn't actually say it on the battery. Oh, it's actually got 1.2 amp hour on it. Hmm, it's actually low. Ow! Two thousand milliamp hour one there, or a pair of them. Oh, see, yeah, it's actually a, it's a NICAD as well. That one, NICAD, NICAD nickel metal hydride. What's this one? Doesn't say. Not helpful. A NICAD. It looks like most of them are actually NICADs. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah. I play Tetris. That's what I wanted to play. Play that before bedtime. Okay, well at least I know the batteries are freely available. Maybe one day, if I ever get some extra cash, I'll uh, grab a pair. I don't know. Anything going on outside? Nope. Dead quiet out there. Alright, I'm going to sit 
end of video, I think. I'll get this uh, transferred up. Have I got to cut the thing? Yes, I have. Good. Box cut was handy. So, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you again at some point tomorrow, which will be Monday. Lost track of the date. Monday the 12th. See you later, everyone. Bye.